Okay. Where is... Where are my cards? Oh, behind me. There they are. Hello, how are you? How is your day? Are you feeling frustrated right now? It is one of those days, guys, where there could be some in the air with just, um, we, oh my God, sorry, focus. I've just put my phone on silent. <laughs> so we've just had the moon can just junk Uranus. All right. So have you had a little bit of an explosive morning? Um, good morning, Alicia. How are you? So good to see you yesterday. Oh my God. It made me so happy. Um, okay, so the so okay, so this morning, 8 a.m. we had the moon conjunct Uranus. I just said that. Uh now at 11 30 a.m. we have the moon in Taurus sextile Neptune. Alright, so you know there might be a little bit of confusion happening. Uh, you know, you might be getting a little bit uncomfortable because of the changes the Uranus and you want some you want some facts you need some clarity and then at 1 p.m we get a trine good morning April we get a trine to Pluto all right so that Pluto might offer the clarity so it's a very it's a it's a good natural progression today moon Uranus oh my god I'm unsettled moon Neb like sextile neptune oh i need a little bit more details boom 1 p.m trine pluto that could bring up the clarity that you're after the answers the hidden good morning heather that hidden stuff and then at 104 four minutes later the moon moves into gemini and so we can start communicating all right so when the moon is in taurus Ah, oh, lounge lizard, I just want to be comfy and warm and don't don't poke the bear, you know, because comfort and security is everything to Taurus. Um, I, you know, I need a good bank balance, I, I need my fridge full, um, and I need to make sure that I got a, a good blankie. All right. But so so there's that it's windy, I don't like it. And then one o'clock, we're like, okay, I can talk about this now. So now at 7.30, however, there is a square to the sun. So we are in the third quarter moon. So things are actually like we've had that full moon. Did we just, we just did have a full moon, didn't we? What day is it? Where am I? What happened? In? Full moon on the 20th. That's right. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I am very unsettled this morning as well. And this wind is not making it any easier. All right. So. Let me read the words. <laughs> All right. Are you feeling unsettled this morning? Maybe there's an underlying tension brewing. Mercury is not moving for the next couple of days. All right. So you may feel hyper focused on one issue or maybe something is demanding your attention and you can't ignore it any longer. Get uncomfortable, break your old patterns, face the fear and watch new things come from what you find. Awesome, Alicia. Have a great day. Say hi to B for me. All right. So uh, now in the sky as well, I was talking about the other day, the sun is trine hygieia. Okay. So this is our mental health and well-being. It is putting safeguards in place to make sure that you are the most important thing first and foremost. All right. Now there is also the sun is coming up to conjunct Lilith. All right. So get part of that maybe uncomfortableness and potentially, you know, the trine to Pluto then moving straight into, although it is quite wide, but you know, the vibe is there. Um, it starts saying things that you would normally keep hidden. All right. And then, and, and ask yourself, why am I uncomfortable to say this truth? What is it about this truth that makes me not that makes me feel like I need to withhold or hide? And then, you know, if you dig deeper, you know, you might find, you know, I'm always going to go back to, you know, it's some sort of family pattern or, you know, there's some statement in your head that says, you know, oh, my God, if you're honest with this particular type of issue, 
you might hurt someone else's feelings because you're a good girl or whatever. Excellent. Excellent, April. <laughs> so, so yeah. All right. So, so, and the sun is now in Virgo. All right. So we're at about two degrees Virgo. And um, this morning I said to Mick, I was like, I need to make a doctor's appointment because I've got some things going on. Um, and I want to go and see a lady doctor in Launceston because, you know, I don't want to go see some random intern at Oka, you know. But anyway, so my point with that is not that there's anything wrong with me. I'm good. <laughs> but, you know, there's like niggles. And, and you know, like I often say to you guys, you know, your body is telling you things every single day, you know, whether you are listening or not. Um, the, the more you ignore signs, symptoms, and even just ideas, you know, like I was saying in the beginning, um, is there something, is there something that is demanding your attention? Is there an incessant thought, you know, like, um, so, so yeah, pay attention to those because the whole month is about healthcare and self-care and, you know, Virgo is alternate health practices. Um, but you know, and just in general, just listen to your body. All right. So, uh, okay. What else have we got? Uh, Mercury's not doing anything. Mercury, nobody's talking to Mercury at the moment. So Mercury's just sort of, you know, he's at 23 degrees. He goes direct on Friday at 21 degrees. And just because he's so slow, it, you know, there's a, there's some, there's potential, you know, we've got that hyper focus, but if you're, needing to get something done it could make you frustrated because things aren't moving as fast as you would like excuse me there it is <laughs> uh yeah and you know uh venus trine uranus opposing neptune trine pluto all right so poor old venus i mean she's trying uranus so she's trying new things or she's because she's ruling uranus so you know she might be looking at alternate ways because she's opposing pluto alternate ways around finances maybe she's considering new budgets maybe she's looking at new options where finances come into it uh so that's a that's a real potential um and mars is square neptune so there's that added little bit of confusion as well um yeah so you know that's that's i feel like the words that are coming to me when i say that mars square neptune is the ethical and moral dilemma so you know a, a lot of this is there's just a lot of uh, i'm feeling uncomfortable how do i how do i feel about that where are those thoughts coming from so how does does that resonate with anybody <laughs> <laughs> Let me just, I'll grab, let's grab a card um, and so tomorrow actually looks quite nice. You know, today's way more prickly than tomorrow. So that's a good thing. Um, let's have a quick look through the week. We have the moon moving through to Cancer oh, Thursday. So what did I say? Yeah, sorry. Thursday the 29th mercury goes direct and venus moves into libra this week Ooh, that is beautiful and like i said venus right now has got all these things happening she might be a little bit hyper she might be a little bit hyper focused on the data analysis so if she is moving into that financial realm which is good so yeah it would be a good time to to have a look it's always a good time to look at your finances but you know, it might be easier to look at your finances. Because when she moves into Libra, ma, she's back in her happy place. So, all right. Focus on the card. Oh, this one. Number one. When the storm spirits play. Oh, there we go. And for those of you in Tassie, you know that the September winds are here. Well, actually, yesterday, oh, poor Dukes, we did have a storm yesterday, and it just knocked him out. The poor thing, he gets that terrified. He slept all night and didn't eat his dinner, and that is, is something. All right, 
So the essential meaning, understanding how to navigate divine chaos, <laughs> clear the air, stir the pot, scatter seeds and bring new possibilities. I just love how in alignment these are. These are so good. You're being asked to surrender your needs to control outer circumstances, which is based on a desire to feel more certain, avoid confrontation or resist change. Good morning, Liz. How are you? I saw that April. That looked amazing. All right. Uh, this card signifies a time to trust that this chaos, this disorder, this turbulence that has shown up in your life is temporary but important. How Uranus is this? All right. You are now able to let go of what is unnecessary or that which you've been resisting releasing. Consider how clear the air is after a storm how dead branches are pruned from trees and how potent seeds are scattered so new life can sprout in the new soil. Even if you find yourself in conflict, there is a gift in this. It invites you to see things from alternate perspectives and provides you with lots of valuable information. Uh, important possibilities arise from the chaos at hand. Okay, so from now, um, remain in the center of the storm. Be mindful of your reactions. Watch and wait. There is divine reordering at the root of this chaos. All right, so there we go. I'm not going to read the rest because it doesn't feel like I need to. But yeah, so definitely, you know, uh, if you know, if you have got that thing that is is you know, you're either hyper focused on something or there is something like. The universe is like, look at this thing. Just do it, you know. You've got that, you know, this Mercury, um, this slow-moving Mercury, you can utilize it, all right? So, um, yeah. So, so yeah. I hope that, I hope that helps you, ladies and, and gents, if, if uh, any, anyone gentlemanly comes here. Um, but, yeah, that's it. All right, so for my accountability group, I am going to pretty much start it straight away because I have a reading at 10. And for everybody else, I will see you tomorrow. Mwah. <laughs>